<sighs> How's everybody doing today? How was everybody's Monday? Mine was actually surprisingly well. I don't care. Hi, this is a post video spoopy, editing spoopy, whatever you want, want to call me. Um, you may notice that things look different in this version of the game than the last episode. That's because I lost footage and I am playing on the PC version of Silent Hill 4 versus the uh, Xbox One, the old original one. So just wanted to throw that out there. Enjoy. Who the fuck is banging on my door? Excuse you! Ooh. Stained with blood and I can't read it. Superintendent's memo. Can you like, thank you. Better check on your neighbor soon. Eileen! Ew, yellow belly. She's shaving. I am not going to watch this woman shave her armpits, not in the shower, completely dry. That's not how women shave. I want to make that abundantly apparent. That is not how women shave. Okay. All right. What is the phone number? I'm sorry. Was that a head? Three, seven, five, zero. <laughs> That's what happens when you get doting on your husband and you don't pay attention or remember what your numbers were. I am here. This is it. There's a spook! Run! Run, Henry! No, stay at- No! Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Please don't do it. Not like this. Not like this. Please leave me alone. I don't have anything for you, sir. Ah, ha, ha. My God, where's the door? This is my own personal hell. I can do that too. Holy shit. Could you imagine climbing up all these stairs? Running up all these stairs? I would have passed out by now. I think. Bye! What's this? It's the door 207 from my apartment building. Plate on the door. Remove the plate. Got chaos placard. Alright. Everyone prepare yourselves. Nineteen out of twenty-one. <laughs> All right, a little flashy. I'll tell you when it's over. <laughs> okay, well, now that I'm traumatized, thanks. Everything looks normal outside of the head that went by my wall earlier. Looks like another one, Captain. Got one, one, two, one on his head. It's just like that case from 10 years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. 
Mm -hmm. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Yeah, but even so... All right, Alistair. <laughs> I say that because of the radio voice, radio demon. Get it? Get it? Do we get it? <laughs> if you don't get it, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Hiccups. Okay, let's save. Hey, Kiara, how you doing? Alright, we have over an hour to get where I need to. Let's check on Eileen. Since we were told to keep an eye on Eileen. Oh, Eileen, your dress is so cute! This is honestly awkward for me to watch, so goodbye. Excuse me. Stop staring at my door, you're being weird. Look at it, it's almost a perfect hole. And look at it, it's got symbols on it now. There was a hole here once, it's gone now. This hole, it doesn't look like a human made it. It's getting bigger and rounder. And I think I've seen this pattern before. Oh, honey. You've been seeing it this entire game. I'm glad that you're just finally catching on now. I'm doing great today. Thank you so much for asking. Three oh three is Eileen's room. Is it? What the hell is this? I don't know. All right. This is the one that I remembered least of. Little Walter! And then he disappears. It's locked. So this is my apartment. It's locked as a scrap of red paper stuck under the same way they show up under my door. Okay, apparently it won't let me pick that up. Dead dogs. This is Eileen's room. That one's locked. Oh. Hi. I got this from Miss Galvin. A long, long time ago. She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy, holding her mother's hand. Here. I'll give it to you. Um... No. <laughs> Goodbye. I will confess in my previous recording, I did pick up that doll. So. Tenant, their tenant locker, their number is 103 or 101 through. Blah. Okay. I have to remember. Oh, goodbye. It's locked. I don't remember too much about this one. Listen. 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 Stop. 
You too. Stop. 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 Thank you. Bye bye. Cool. Nothing here. Okay, so this entire wing is a dud. I mean, it's locked. That's it's not a dud. It's locked. Let me put it that way. Gross. I don't like that. It's squelchy. Oh my god! fourth game in the franchise so this one was almost not a silent hill game i think i have to go back home oh this one opened up what are we looking at what do we see oh diary here. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me, who gave that rare porn magazine, who gave me that rare porn magazine, looks like he's been working super hard. He said that he found another rare one and he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said it was a journal and he was, he said he was a journalist and he always is investigating stuff, but I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. July 1st, Mike. Oh, my beautiful Rachel, what's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess maybe it's somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes, Mike, July 2nd. Take the red paper. Just a red piece of paper with nothing written on it. I'll stick it under 302's door. Smite, 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 man. Ha, da, 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 da. Oh my god, what the hell? Did you guys just hear my dog? <laughs> Come running up the stairs. The camera gets a little weird in this mode. You're in first person. Um, that's nice. Goodbye. I don't want to look at that anymore. Ahem, <laughs> we're reading. It was four years ago when they discovered the body with 1221 carved into it. Right away, I had this terrible feeling and I couldn't stop shaking. The victim had become murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years, having committed suicide three years before the murder. The police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case, round two. But something about it bothered me. May 14th. I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. 01121 is actually 01 out of 21. In other words, 1 out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people, but he never finished the job. He was convicted of the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the seventh and eighth victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. That grisly mass murder of ten people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. There are two big puzzles here. The first is, what was the motive for the murders? The second, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. Bum, bum, bum! Oh, now we're throwing dog toys. All right, we unfortunately have to spy on my neighbor, Eileen. Peeping is literally part of this game. Can't see her. I wonder if something happened to Eileen. Who knows? Do we have anything to put away? No. We're getting low on bullets, though. I'm so sorry if you can hear the dog chewing in the background. She's chewing on a toy. 
Let's go back through the hole. Wow, look at all these magazines. Fascinating. All right, anything else in this room? Stop. Henry. Magazine laying open. I don't suggest you reading that. Teaching Despair. Wish House. Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell, me, tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may be, in fact, a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' firm belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. True path, my ass. Got Joseph's article. What else do you see, my guy? The photo of a nurse that says I love you on it. There's a key taped to the back of it. Ew! 106. Okay. 2106. Whoa, wait. This guy's a super must mux much younger picture. There's a Ooh, superintendent's key. Glad that I grabbed that. Anything else in here for me? Like health drinks or anything? It'd be nice if there were. No, cool. Bye. No, lady! Leave me alone! That was rude. She was just waiting for me! Hello. 105 superintendent's room. Hello. Hi, I'm creeping around your um, hellscape of a house. Take the red piece of paper. Thank you. Oh, another red piece of paper. Thank you. Ooh, keys. The apartment keys. Actually, it looks like 303 is missing. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I see a box. It's a red box. Man, this thing really stinks. It's practically bringing tears to my eyes. Wonder what that's all about. Who would know? Who would ever know? Hi, do you have, like, things you can give me? Ooh, it's a diary. The red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I just can't throw it away. It must have been around 30 years ago. That young couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles, or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. I called the ambulance right away and I heard the baby survived, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day, he just stopped coming by. But now that I think of it, I'll bet he was that abandoned baby. It's a horrible story, abandoning a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302. And the umbilical cord I found there, well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. Gross! You're a gross man! That's disgusting! That's also what one would call a biohazard, sir. Just saying. Bio 
hazard. This wallpaper is obnoxious. Got any goodies for me? My darling, my darling's number. There's, there are numbers that look like phone numbers. You want to press the numbers? There's a phone ringing somewhere. Portable medical kit. It's a nurse's uniform. This one says Rachel. Whoa! She's get away from me! Oh, I've upset the spooks. I've upset the spooks. I've upset the spooks. I just want health drinks and things. Well, this was pointless. Oh my god. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Oh, ew, 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 ew. No. Ew, no. Okay, cool. Nothing here. Also with hideous wallpaper. Superintendent needs to be charged for having gross wallpaper in his apartment. Complex. I don't know if superintendent necessarily means that you're the landlord, but... Oh, yay, it's the... F <laughs> it's a model gun. All the guns here are just models. Oh, goodbye! All right, second floor, here we come. Ooh, it's louder. I'm sorry, what? Bloodstained shirt, there's a torn red piece of paper in the pocket. I can't hold anymore, my guy. Sure, we'll just... I need to go get rid of these red pieces of paper. Alright, we've got a lot of papers to pick up and read. Everybody, hold on to your butts. Hi. How are you doing? That's nice. Cool! I guess you the heavy jeebies. I lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. I gotta find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was this. It's ripped and I can't read the rest. It's bloody and it's hard to read. Rachel, love you always. Watching window. Protect you with love. Mike. I picked up the key that Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. May 20th. The super doesn't have it. So. I don't want to listen to this phone anymore. Stop. What am I going to get? I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. So 106. We've done 106. Isn't 106 where we called from? We haven't checked the twos. Whoa, leave me alone. Hmm, this does not seem to be the one. And you don't have any goodies, so get fucked. No! There was a goodie in here, I remember. I'm 
least I thought there was a goodie in here. Was there a goodie in here? Oh no, it was this. I remember. All right, we already did this room. I came back in here because I'm a fool. Not like this, please, no, please no. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, thank God. No one's there. Look at it. Painting of a young man. Set memo says 107. He listens to great music, but I feel sorry for him having to live under Braintree. So 207 is Braintree. Ooh, picture. It's a painting of a woman holding a cat. 102. She loves cats too much and missed her chance to get married. The, I kind of felt sorry for her when she was mourning one of her dead cats. Well, duh, you should feel sad for anybody mourning a dead pet. They lost a family member. What the fuck? Weirdo? Weirdo? Okay, so 20, where are we? 202 is where what? Is where the paintings are if we need to determine where people live. Brain tree is in 207. So let's go check 207 out. 205, 206, 207. Oh, good. I don't mind if I, uh, if this is the gun that Richard was using, take Richard's revolver. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to upset you, sir. So I'm just gonna walk away. Gotta putter. Gotta walk away. I don't want to want upset you, sir. No. Walk the other direction. <laughs> All right. Yes, we should check the other rooms while we're here. Hey, Walter, listen. I don't want to cause a big stink. So, like, there's men's bloody underwear and a torn shirt sleeve in the garbage. Gross. What happens if I... <gasps> He's not even there! I see Island Galvin from here. I'm pretty sure that's room 303. What's she doing in this world? Oh, shit. Just making sure that there's nothing else here. Okay. Butch! Okay, so this was 207. We've done everything in here. They've obviously murdered somebody in here. Um, that's Braintree's apartment. So let's go down to the superintendent's apartment and <laughs> I'm so sorry. Whew. But that's why we don't see Eileen in the regular world. It's because she's here. She is not in a good spot. Hastily scribbled notes found by Nurse Rachel. Returned to 302 together with the part her boyfriend Mike tore off. Hi, bud. Anything else in here that I missed? No, please don't. Cool. Thanks. Ow. Thanks. Bye. Okay, nothing left in here. Oh, I didn't see you there. 
Hello, I am missing a red piece of paper. Get away from me, you nasties. Oh my god, Henry, stop. Hey, does anyone have a red scrap of paper in here? It'd be great if you did. Oh, do I have to wait a second? This could be a clue. This could be a clue. Kill him. Kill him. Get him. Get him. Open it up. Yes. I always forget this. It's wrapped up in torn bloody jeans. This paper. Piece of a dead cat. There's a torn red paper in the pockets. What the fuck? I forgot that they killed a cat. Oh, pain, pain. <laughs> I think I just heard Eileen banging at the door. Fake friend. I've definitely, uh, definitely been called that because I forget things. Hi, I don't want you to fuck with me. Goodbye. The remaster is coming. Yeah, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I actually just talked to a, um, I just talked to a tattoo artist or submitted to a tattoo artist. Um, a request to get my Halo of the Sun tattoo. Ideally, I want it here, but we'll have to see about real estate. She might have to go elsewhere. We've been stuck on the apartment world the longest, and I am not even remotely surprised at all. This is the apart. This is the, the apartment. This is the one that I struggle with the most. I never remember where all the pieces of paper are. Oh yeah, I had a really wicked headache that day and just collapsed on the bed. Maybe if I look near the bed in my in room 302's bedroom, I'll find it. I get headaches every now and then. It's terrible. What am I going to do? May 22nd. What she's not telling you is she's getting a mother-daughter tattoo. I... Excuse me. My mom is also getting a halo of the sun tattoo. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot. Now the record has been set straight. <laughs> I watched my mom play Silent Hill when I grew up, which is how I got into Silent Hill. Silent Hill is a part of my blood. No one cares, 302. Eileen! <laughs> you hate to see it, girl. You hate to see it. A little bit of flash, by the way, guys, just FYI. And the flashing is over.
Those are police sirens. That's an ambulance. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, good. What's this? I know what it is. I know what it is, sir. You creepy little fuck! I love it. Bye. <laughs> Notice we didn't get a placard that time. Notice that all the other worlds we've done have given us a placard, but that one has not. Oh, actually, I don't want to save right now. There's some kind of strange paper stuck here. Will you take it? Succubus talisman. There it is. Card with some kind of frightening demon on it. There's a scrap of red paper stuck here. I don't think I can protect myself. He's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can't be measured. I was so scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. I wonder if Eileen Galvin is okay. She has no idea what's going on, but she's in danger nevertheless. July 13th. Sealed off the back of the storage room. There's some kind of stain. Come to think of it, it also looks like an evil demon. Curiouser and curiouser. The hole is blocked. John, John, John! Eileen. Get in rush to the hospital. Dead people don't get rushed to hospitals. I still have at least one recording with this version of the game before we're caught back up, and I have filled in the gaps between the other recordings, but we're getting nearish to the end of the game. I'd say we're like uh, just over halfway. Very exciting to show you guys the rest. <laughs>